Hey there, it's Jonathan Edwards with LacrosseGoalieTips.com and I wanted to talk today about buying equipment uh, for goalies. Um, I've been getting a lot of emails lately from parents and uh, I actually did a goalie critique recently um, where uh, the par parent was curious that you know if their, if their son was wearing enough, uh, wearing enough equipment. And so you know, it's a hot topic because a lot of young goalies see college goalies and see that they're wearing practically nothing. They're wearing the bare minimum or the, the minimum set by the rules. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of outside observers think that goalies in lacrosse don't wear enough. And, um, and I would argue that there's, there's, there's both sides of the argument. However, I lean more towards more equipment, especially with younger goalies. Uh, so I'll get into why in a second. So basically the rules state that every goalie needs to wear a helmet and a throat guard uh, a chest protector and gloves. All right. I don't even believe a cup is in the rule book as to uh, um, to right now. So, uh, and you need a stick. Okay. So, so with that in mind, collegiate goalies that play. You know, a lot of young guys look at the older example, but don't realize what's the, the other side of it. They see they just see the goalie not wearing a lot of equipment. The bottom line, though, is that the shooters that those goalies are facing. Are much more accurate. Okay, yes, they shoot the ball at upwards of 100 miles an hour, but they're able to pick a corner. They're able to to to, to shoot just inside the pipe. So the thought process is is that the better you are as as you as you get a, become a better goalie and you pay, play against better shooters, you're not going to get hit as much with the ball, and that may be true. All right, the challenge is when you do get hit with the ball, it can really hurt. Okay, and um, when I started playing goal. Uh, in fifth grade, this, the school that I went to had a rule that um, goalies had to wear, lacrosse goalies had to wear full hockey gear. Not like hockey goalie gear, but like hockey, like playing, like you would play out, you know, on the ice. Um, so we wore shin guards, like hockey shin guards, you know, like the plastic kneecap and the shin. And uh, we wore hockey pants and um, we wore a cup and uh, a chest protector, shoulder pads, elbow pads and uh, gloves, throw guard, you name it. I was covered from head to toe. Now, the, the, it was hot as hell playing like that, um, especially in spring, and in a, as, as a fifth grader, not being physically very strong yet, that equipment was really cumbersome. Now, back then, too, the equipment was really heavy. We don't have the technology that we have today with equipment and textiles and protective uh, foams and, and all sorts of stuff and beads and, and, and all, you know, it's amazing now how light the equipment is. But what, what it did back then was two things. One, um, it didn't matter at that age whether I was a top-notch goalie or not. Um, our, you know, the, the teams, it wasn't life or death at that point playing lacrosse. So my recommendation, especially in junior high, in, in kind of in, in elementary um, uh, and, and, and below, you know, you want to pad up uh, enough so that, uh, and the, the, what, the reason we want to pad up enough is because we don't want fear to creep into the goalie's head. And so um, what happens is when fear, when, when fear creeps into the mind of the goalie, then the focus, the, the, the mind is focusing on, is this going to hurt or not? And this can even happen with some of the best goalies. I remember a story a couple of years ago of a collegiate goalie who developed fear of the ball towards the end of their season, and, and they had to really do some kind of last minute uh, confidence building uh, with tennis balls and stuff and the whole thing prior to the, uh, the national, the NCAA tournament. So, but basically fear can creep in anybody. And the young goalie, what we're trying to do is create a love of the game and we want to create that there. We want to we want to instill in them a confidence so that they can move to the ball, be successful with the ball, and uh, and not have fear of the ball. The challenge is on the younger side is that shooters can shoot the ball a lot harder than um, so that it warrants heavier like more equipment that a younger goalie might not necessarily move effectively. Does that make sense? And that's a long sentence for a simple concept, which is basically you load up a, if you load up a junior age kid with a lot of equipment, you may bog him or her down um, so that they don't move very well to the ball. And they might not feel very good about that either because they might feel slow and uh, they might feel that they can't move the ball. However, that being said, I'd rather have a goalie who's in the cage enjoying it and is protected and is comfortable um, and, and is happy that they're in the cage, not dreading that they're going to get hit by the ball. Okay, so 
so there's a couple issues at play. One is that younger goalies see the collegiate goalies and think, man, I should be wearing nothing and then I'll be a good goalie. Um, and you know, that's not, that's not really the case. It's not really what we want to have happen. The other consideration, okay, when, when, when putting equipment, uh, especially on, on any goalie, even a collegiate level goalie, is commodio cortis. And commodio cortis is a condition where if the chest is struck at the right time, in between beats of the heart, the heart can stop. And, and, and there's a very low chance that it can be um, uh, kick-started back again. Okay? That's one of the reasons why we now see defibrillators on almost every field. And, um, and so, but it, the sad news is that goalies and, and defenders do, in all sports, softball as well, um, and Little League Baseball, uh, commodio cortis is a real threat. So what I suggest is when you dress up a, a young goalie, you want that goalie to, to have the minimum of equipment. But the great news is that today, with technology, the equipment is a lot lighter than ever. And, uh, and, and by putting on enough equipment, um, you're gonna protect that young goalie, instill their confidence. Even an older goalie, even a collegiate level goalie, uh, in my opinion, should be, to be dressing more than what, they, what most, goalies, uh, most goalies wear today. The, the, there's great, especially around the chest and the shoulder caps. Um, but uh, now you're not going to load up a hockey, uh, a, go a goalie in hockey equipment. I understand that, and that's what I want to. I don't want to come across as some old fart who's thinking that you know, I should wear more equipment. But there is a, meet a happy medium between uh, wearing enough and being protected, and not wearing enough in the attempt to feel like you're going to move quicker to the ball. Um, you don't see a lot of hockey goalies who wish that they could take off their arm pads so that they could stop the puck better. Okay. Um, uh, and, and is that something to consider as well? So I get into more of this in, 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 in we get more of this conversation in uh, with our uh, our underground members over on uh, the website lacrossegoaltips.com. I'll keep it short for here for this YouTube clip. But if you got any questions about equipment, feel free to email me, uh, Jonathan at lacrossegoaltips.com. We'll see you soon.